All right, so I've never shot anything with this 3D camera before, or 360 camera or whatever, so bear with me. But I figured I'd do a little video, and of course now the thing has to fly over, but I figured I'd do a little video of um, the gallery show. So even if you didn't get here, you're able to have a quick look, and uh, yeah, so why don't you follow me inside. All right, so as we come in, and I'll try to turn the camera every time. Let me close the door here. Um, we've got some stuff up here. I don't know. I'll try to expl explain some things, but um, these just fit really nicely here. And, you know, they're nice and colorful, so they get people in the door, which is good. And then you'll see some t-shirts up there, but we'll talk about those on our way back. So um, as we come in then to the left is one of the main walls. So there's some photography here on the left. And there's some more work here on the right, so pretty cool. It's been fun trying to figure out like what to hang here and, and how to set it all up. And I've definitely learned a lot because I think, um, yeah, when it comes to hanging things, I can definitely uh, improve stuff for sure. <laughs> so you might be thinking why do they have like a white border around them? And get a little bit closer and you might be able to read it. The, um, each one of these actually has uh, like a code, you can see CYSF, so that's the name of the show, check your spam folder. And the way I'm trying to do things is I'm only printing them once with that code on it, and then when, um, so because some people have bought some already, and the people that buy them, they actually get the version that was here in the gallery. So they know it's the unique one that was here that I showed here, um, that they can take home with them, which is really nice. And that's not to say I'll never do any reproductions of anything, but <clears throat> it's interesting to note that, you know, um, I'm trying to make them unique in their own way. So we'll see. Uh, people seem to be excited, so that's nice. So these are actually really interesting, and um, <clears throat> they're kind of fun. I don't know how well, <clears throat> pardon me, I don't know how well they're going to translate on a camera, but um, if you look really closely, and I'll try to get in, I have no idea if this is going to be a focus or not, so I'm sorry if it isn't. But basically they're like ASCII art versions of um, some of the works that are in here. And um, some of my, you know, favorite pieces and some of the ones that work really well with the ASCII stuff on them. So I'll get close to some of the other ones so you can have a look. Hopefully that's somewhat visible and not completely, I don't know, making me sick or whatever, trying to look at this in 360. But um, yeah, so these were cool. I ended up um, buying a printer to print everything myself right before the show opened, about a week or so before. And honestly, these wouldn't have been here if I hadn't done that, because I started getting into things like paper, and there's a photography shop here in Antwerp um, that has like a basement full of all these different kinds of paper and whatever. And I ended up picking this up, um, which was traditional Japanese washi paper, which is really cool. And I figured, you know, how can I make them even more interesting because it's like this really traditional paper and I figured um, how about I you know not just take the work but make it even more digital by you know make it like all ASCII and stuff and this one's actually sideways but don't tell anybody um, and here you go you can probably see this a little bit better I'll keep the camera close to them but I, like I said I have no idea if this is going to work or not um, but I'll post the video anyway because I think it's fun so I, I figured I'd juxtapose that really traditional paper with like a super digital thing and yeah, they turned out really well. So they're part of, you know, the reason I did this is just to learn more about doing this physical kind of show. And here you see two of the Mega Grid series. They're fun. They're some of my favorites, I guess. I don't know. Pretty much everything that's up here, I would uh, say is some of my favorite work. And it was cool printing everything myself. I ended up printing way more than I needed. But that allowed me to sort of make a, a choice. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I, I had more than I needed to, uh, needed to hang. So I could play around with it a little and test some stuff out. And it was cool to kind of see it come together as, as I was hanging everything. So here's some more work. You might recognize these bottom two from an animation. So I took two still frames from an animation because I really liked the way those, uh, those meshes look. And then these are part of a series, obviously. They're, um, they're also fun. And the way I've structured it is here in the back, we've got more like the black and white stuff. So here you see some more work. Um, this one actually has some Houdini in it for people that didn't know all the like inside things. The outside is all Blender, but the inside, I don't know if you can see how well you can see it. 
the inside, all like the little tubes and stuff. I ended up doing that in Houdini at one point, which is cool. So yeah, and then here's um, some more stuff. And as you can see, the work's already bowing a little bit. I wish I would have, you know, figured that out a little bit better. Um, but they should flatten out again, no problem. I'm not too worried about them. It's just one of those things, you know, you learn as you're going along and there's kind of one big experiment and yeah. So I apologize for some of the mess that's on the on the floor here or the, like the table and the chairs and stuff. We had an event a few days ago and I haven't gone around to cleaning it up properly. And we're wrapping up tomorrow, so I figured I'd do this video today before it's too late. So these are cool. These are like the seminal images of the show, I guess you could call them. Um, yeah, some of the latest things I've done, honestly, some of my favorites. And if I look at them now on social media, they're all square originally, but I think I like these framings a lot better in the end. They just get a little bit closer and, I don't know, they just make you feel a little bit more connected. Is that the right word? At least to me, anyway. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. So this is sort of the, the back end of the show. So as you might have noticed, I uh, sort of lure people in with the photography and the more colorful stuff, and then... Uh, and get them all on the, the weird stuff in the back here. So then, um, if we're just walking back, we're not done yet. We've got these t-shirts on the wall, and people expressed some interest in them. So they've been really cool. Um, I ended up working with a lab here in Belgium that ended up making them. I printed, I got the, uh, the fabric printed somewhere in Amsterdam. And it's cool because the fabric itself is made out of 50% recycled um, plastic bottles. Because, well, Honestly, my wife works in a, in a sustainable store, and a lot of that definitely has spilled over into the way I think about things. So I try to create them as ecologically and as locally as possible, and because of that, they're quite expensive, but I do like the way they turned out. Um, even though they're a little brown compared to the original artwork, I actually kind of think it fits them, so it's cool. Um, <clears throat> I might have some of these left after the show, so if you are interested, you can always get in touch, but I'm, I'm telling you right now, they're not going to be cheap. They're going to be like, I don't know, 150 euros each, something like that, plus shipping or something. It's going to be rough because, well, you know, they were made locally. They were printed on um, limited run fabric. That's just the way it is. So, but if you are interested, let me know. Um, we've got small, medium, and large, so we'll see. So, now we're back at the front, um, same with this uh, photography here, I kind of glossed over it earlier. I wouldn't have printed any of these if I didn't have my own printer. And I'm kind of glad I did, because I, I think they really work well as a set. Let's see if I can hold the camera a bit more in front of them. So, yeah. And, I don't know, this whole thing has been a fun experience. I've met a lot of people that, um, you know, have had, finally had a chance to say hello, and sold a few works, which is really cool, and yeah, it's just been an overall really lovely experience. Now, we're not done yet, because we can actually go down here, into the basement, let's see, and there's more stuff down here. So I'll start here on the left. This is the only work I think that's in here that was made with mandel bulber. It's still one of my favorites. I have no idea why this light has turned. I think somebody might have ran into it or something. I don't know. There we go. Not that it matters. The show is almost finished anyway. But I hope you can see it a little bit better. I have no idea how this camera performs down here. Um, so this is a bit more of a sort of smattering of stuff on the left side. Um, this is actually another picture, another piece of photography, which I really enjoy. And I felt it would be pretty powerful before it leads into the other room, which I'll show you in a second. And then we've got some more ASCII art versions of some of the work that's up here. And I believe there's two or three of them, um, I'd have to double check how many, the, of which the original isn't actually up, but, you know, if they worked as the ASCII versions, they're really cool. Um, yeah, these are actually some of my favorites, the, the ASCII ones, just because of the way they look and feel on the traditional paper. And, I don't know, turns out I'm a bit of a paper nerd, it just took me a really long time to realize it, I guess. And then we've got some two final pictures here, these were fun, these were from uh, like a really misty day. Um, around the start of the year somewhere. It was just crazy, crazy misty and ended up going out to the woods and there's two pictures, there's a few pictures up, upstairs as well um, that are from that day and um, it's unfortunate. They're cutting down a lot of the woods where I live to build a, like a highway to complete the highway around the city which kind of sucks but 
you know, progress, I guess. There's not much you can do to stop it. But I have some fond memories from that day. It was cold, it was misty, but took some, some really amazing pictures. And it was a lot of fun all around. So then the final area, we see some um, more work here. And if you've been following me on social media, um, you've probably seen these eight already. They're from a um, music video, which I'm still working on. And yeah, there's no audio on the TV, which I'll switch over to in a second, just because the song hasn't been released yet. So I don't want to ruin that. Um, but the music video is coming together. I think it's yeah, it could be called pretty much done. Maybe one or two minor fixes, but pretty happy with the result. I've been getting into this stuff a lot lately. A lot of the um, shooting video with all the paints and oils and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know, it's been fun. It's cool that this is a part of it as well, because I had these definitely lined up, but together with some of the other photography, I feel it's a bit more, um, how do you call it, a bit more complete, I guess. Um, otherwise, it would have been like the only thing I've taken pictures of that were up. So again, printing my own stuff was interesting. And then finally, we have um, a few music videos here playing. And like I said, the sound's off, because not all the songs that have been playing here have been released. And I probably picked like the most boring time to walk in because it's the end of one. So let's stick around for a few seconds to see uh, what's up. Come on, fade out. You can do it. <laughs> and I don't know which one's next. So let's see. Oh, okay, so this one's cool. So there's like four music videos here. And this is the only one that isn't uh, with music from my brother. This song is called My, uh, sorry, Your Pet Friend by Sleeper's Rain. It's on YouTube. You can check it out, the full thing. Um, I think I've posted a link to it on social media as well. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a good way to end. Um, these four music videos are like, I don't know, 17 minutes or so in length in total. And during the opening, people kept going down, to, coming down to the basement and disappearing for like 20 minutes. And I kept wondering, what's going on down there? What are people doing down there? And until it hit me, they were actually entranced watching the music video. So that was a good thing. So, yeah, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. You can see that on, on YouTube and if you follow me on, on social media, obviously, you'll get to see all the other stuff as well. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. It's a small gallery, but I managed to fill it. I'm very happy with the result. I think um, it was a lot of fun doing this. Um, I've told a few people, and this is kind of true, like, as much as I kind of objectively know I'm an artist. Oh, and these are fun as well. So for the people that speak Flemish or Dutch, uh, the language that I speak natively as well, these are Vaget Prinches. So they start at like five bucks, and it's all photography as well that I printed. And let's go through some of them. They're really cool. I like them. And just like really vague light streaks and stuff. Some of them are the ones that are on the wall here behind me, and I'm probably supposed to keep this camera straight. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to 360 videos, so if you're a little nauseous, I apologize. Um, but to get back to what I was saying, to me, it's almost like I feel like an artist for the first time just because it's like all tangible and it's up here. I know that sounds stupid because I've been doing this for a while, but you know, being able to walk in between it and kind of see it and enjoy it and you know, be able to get up to it really close to see more detail, it's been fun. So yeah, I uh, hope you had a nice time. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the quick tour I did. And who knows, maybe I'll see you at a future show, maybe I'll see you at the Blender conference, wherever, another conference, you know, you always can come up and say hi. And for the people that are wondering, yes, my hair is purple, I did something fun with it for the opening. So, there you go. Um, yeah, have a nice day, and see you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>